I'm going to give a short review of a book that is kind of interesting. A short book. It's actually called The Short Bible. And it's by Peter J. Bilsma. And I heard about this book. It's kind of interesting to me. Basically what he did is he wrote like a synopsis of the Bible. Um, it's just a really condensed narrative of everything that happens. Um, and I wanted to get it because there are some parts of, um, you know, from about Genesis to the end of uh, Second Kings, you have a chronological narrative. Um, of course, it's a little bit gets a little bit in the weeds in that later book we're keeping track of all the different kings and things like that but then what gets a little, a little messy is then you have the ordering of the psalms and the proverbs the book of job and then all the prophets and of course those prophets are mixed in at various points during the reigns of those kings and some of them are in the northern kingdom some of them, of them are in the south and so just trying to keep the chronological span of things after Solomon and the divided kingdom is a little bit tricky to me. That's what I felt. And this kind of gives a good way where he's presenting it all like in a short chunk of like this, the, there was this king, these prophets were here at this king, this was happening in this kingdom. And then the story of the exile goes into a little bit of the intertestamental period. And then... Um, into the Gospels. And overall, it's pretty good, I would say, what he does. It does kind of help you get a good um, overarching grasp of what's going on, covering the whole span of history, which I think is a little bit tricky at times, just from le reading the Bible through in the way that it is organized. However, there are some things I wasn't crazy about in it. Like, at various points, he is telling more or less the facts of what's going on, but then he will intersperse interpretation of things. And it's really annoying, um, especially when, like, a lot of the miraculous things happen, like crossing the Red Sea and when the they cross the Jordan River. He gives, like, a weird scientific explanation of what um, happens but of course it's not actually it doesn't say that in the bible this is an, an interpretation and it's a rather materialist interpretation um you know like he says uh, god caused like a landslide at the above north of northern part of the jordan river and then the water stopped and they crossed over and I'm like, uh, I don't know that that's really exactly what happened. That's a little bit of presumption. And he says, because a similar thing happened in the 20th century or something. Now, of course, yeah, there's no problem with believing that God does miraculous things through natural circumstances. He's God. But we don't, the Bible doesn't specifically say that's what ha what's happening. And he just kind of inserts that as fact. And probably the most annoying one is that he actually rehashes the fable about the camel going through the eye of the needle, that the eye of the needle was a small entrance into Jerusalem, which is not true. It's pure fiction. Some guy made that story up. He said, maybe there's a small door that a camel had to kneel to get through, but no such door exists. So that's really a little bit disappointing. But I understand that if it was, if this book is something that you are going to give to a skeptic or somebody who's never not going to pick up the whole Bible, it is short. It's shorter. The audiobook is like twelve hours long, um, whereas the Bible is typically about seventy-two hours. Um, so, you know, to get somebody to have a better grasp of what's going on, especially somebody who doesn't believe at all, is not a Christian or anything. It's not terrible. I personally wish he would have just stuck to what it said. I'm guessing he, he's still operating under the belief that, um, you know, everybody's a materialist and they just 
dismiss things out of hand. You know, they open up a book and it says something and they say, miracles, and then they slam the cover. But um, that being said, it is somewhat of a useful book, and I think that it is good for that, helping you get a better grasp on the overall timeline of events, um, which is a little bit tricky. So you can buy it or not. But this was a way for me to make a quick video that somebody might enjoy. <laughs>